Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So on today's show, we're gonna take care of the spring cleaning detail of this 2018 Nissan Rogue. So it was purchased by the customer last year, brand new, and it was never properly detailed. So as you know, in my videos, I usually do high-end details, including paint correction, but many of my viewers have asked me to show them the proper steps for a basic spring cleaning detail. So we're gonna talk about this today. So we're gonna talk about pre-washing the vehicle, washing steps, we're gonna talk about paint decontamination, and also applying a form of paint protection. So without further ado, stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, welcome to another video. I hope you're having a good day. So we're going to first start by rinsing this 2018 Nissan Rogue. So we're going to knock off the loose dirt and contaminants before we go ahead and wash the vehicle. Next is the pre-wash stage. We're gonna use a foam cannon, and in this case, we're using Purple Power Vehicle and Boat Wash. So this is a very strong foamer. It's roughly pH 10, and it's gonna to help to strip any previous uh, waxes or paint sealants that might be on the paint. And this is also great to remove any traffic film that's on the vehicle. So we're going to let the soap dwell for roughly 5 minutes before rinsing it off and always remember do not work in direct sunlight so you either work in the shade or in a garage if possible. Today was a perfect day because it was cloudy outside and then we go ahead and rinse the vehicle. Okay, before washing the paint, we're actually gonna clean the wheels as they're the dirtiest parts of the vehicle. So I first start by spraying a degreaser on the tires. In this case, it's super clean, diluted three to one. I'm gonna let that dwell for a couple of seconds. I'm then spraying Meguiar's wheel brightener. So this is an acid-based wheel cleaner on the wheels uh, and the inner barrels. I'm then gonna use my Tough Shine detail brush. So this is a stiff bristle brush that I use to clean the sidewalls of the tires. As you can see, all that browning, well, that's the uh, compounds that are in the rubber that are coming on the surface and that oxidize. So you wanna wash that away once you're done brushing and we're gonna reapply the degreaser. So as long as you see browning, you gotta continue degreasing and then rinsing until uh, you get a white foam and that will mean that your tire is actually clean. So so we're going to go ahead and spray the degreaser again. We're going to start uh, again to brush the, uh, the tire with a Tough Shine Stiff Bristle Brush. We're going to go ahead and rinse another time. So as you can see, there was still a bit of browning left. And on the third try, while well, it's perfect, now the foam is white, so the wheels and tires are clean. Next, I'm going to wash the inner barrels of the wheels using the Microfiber Madness Brush Flat Brush. So it's a microfiber tip and it flexes enough. It's perfect to get into the uh, inner barrels of the wheels. I'm using the Chemical Guys Citrus Wash and Gloss Soap. So it's a pretty good soap to wash wheels. And for the uh, faces of the wheels, I'm going to be using a uh, microfiber wash mitt. So it's uh, very gentle for the finish. Just a quick tip, when I'm cleaning the wheels, I'm using a dedicated wheel bucket. So it's a third bucket separate from the two buckets I use to wash the paint. That way I'm not cross-contaminating because the wheels are the dirtiest parts of the vehicle. Never forget to clean the uh, fender wells. So I'm using the Mother's Fender Well brush. So it's a, a soft tip brush and it's perfect for the job. All right, so now's the time to actually wash the paint. So notice that I'm using the two bucket method. So one rinse bucket containing clean water and one wash bucket containing the soapy solution. Always work from top to bottom as the bar bottom part of the vehicle is always the dirtiest part. I'm also using the straight line techniques. So the whole purpose behind this is to use common sense. You don't wanna install swirls or scratches when you're washing. So I like to use straight lines. And also you gotta make sure that you always work in the shade or on a cloudy day like today, or in a garage of course, if possible, cause you don't want the soap to dry up on the paint. 
Also, make sure that you're washing the paint with as little pressure as possible on your microfiber wash mitt. And you always use one mitt for the paint and a dedicated mitt for the wheels. And if you noticed, I also used a third separate bucket to clean the wheels as you don't want to cross contaminate the dirtiest parts, which are the wheels, with the rest of your paintwork. All right, next we're gonna take care of these rust spots, which are more visible on white cars, but all cars have these because over time, the ferrous particles and iron particles from your wheels and your brakes get flung onto the paint. And uh, once they get caked on there, they oxidize and they rust with contact of water and oxygen in the air. So we're spraying an iron remover and when it reacts with the iron particles, it turns purple. So as you can see here, this vehicle was heavily contaminated. So we let that dwell for roughly four to five minutes and then we go ahead and rinse the product off. There's no danger for the paint uh, or the glass. You can use this on the wheels as well. These are pH neutral solutions. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and do the mechanical decontamination of the paint using a clay bar and clay lubricant. And this will help to remain any other embedded contaminants that still might be in the clear coat. And the purpose is to make the surface smooth as glass and to remove any particles that be in there. So before you apply your paint protection, you wanna make sure that your paint is free of any contaminants. While you're at it, don't forget to also clay your glass, so your side windows and even your windshield. This will help with window cleaning and remove any traffic film that still might be on the windows and it will help your uh, glass protection or your glass sealant better adhere. Look at the clay bar after we're done. It was full of the embedded contaminants and that goes to show you just how important these decontamination steps are. To give a bit of protection to the wheels, I'm using Gion Wet Coat. This is basically a spray on and rinse off formula. It'll give two to three months of protection and make uh, cleaning the wheels a lot easier. Okay, so now we're gonna dry the car. I usually start by uh, drying the windows with the use of a squeegee, and then I move on to the paintwork. So to dry the paint, I like using microfiber drying towels, such as the Rag Company's Twistress Towel, which is a twisted loop microfiber towel, meaning that it absorbs a lot of water. And it's very gentle, so safe for your clear coat. can finish off your drying with a car dryer like my Metrovac Master Blaster Revolution or a leaf blower as it'll help remove the water from hard to reach spots like your mirrors, grills and door jams. Okay, so now we're moving on to the paint protection stage because we want to protect the paint and also enhance the gloss. So in this case, we're using Meguiar's Ultimate Fast Finish. This is a synthetic polymer spray sealant, so it's super easy to apply. You basically spray it on your microfiber towel, you apply it to the paint, you flip your microfiber towel over and you buff to a nice shine. You do half a panel at a time and it'll last you roughly five to six months in real world conditions. So it's an easy to apply formula. It will add slickness to the paint, enhance gloss and give you hydrophobic properties, meaning that you're gonna see the water make some beads on your paint uh, when it rains outside and uh, the car is gonna be easier to wash. So the traditional forms of paint protection are carnauba waxes, you get paint sealants, and you get ceramic coatings. Now I have many tutorials on my channel showing you how to apply each and every one of those forms of protection, so make sure you check my videos out. So in this case, uh, we went ahead with a very easy to apply paint protection. It's very economical as well. You can do easily five to six vehicles with one can. Uh, so a little goes a long way. Again, make sure you work in a shaded area, but you can also use this uh, in direct sunlight, which is good for mobile detailers.
Next, we're gonna clean the glass using a premium window cleaner that has no ammonia, so it's safe for tinted windows. I'm using a Waffle Weave microfiber towel from Microfiber Madness, and in this case, I'm using Gion glass. This is a glass cleaner, and I also like uh, Stoner's Invisible Glass. So now that the windows are clean, we're gonna apply Rain X to the windshield. So Rain X is a water repellent and glass sealant, and this will help increase the visibility and your safety when you're driving, because water, when it's raining, is gonna beat off and sheet off the glass. For a nice finishing touch to any detail, don't forget to apply a tire dressing. So in this case, I'm using Chemical Guys VRP. That's good for vinyl, plastic, and rubber. So it's a water-based dressing, so it's not going to sling onto your paint, so it won't leave those black spots that are dreaded and hated. And it also protects against the sun's UV rays. It's very easy to apply using a foam applicator pad. Finally, I'm applying a trim protectant, in this case CarPro Pearl, diluted one in three for exterior use. So it's gonna help protect the trim against UV rays and also give the trim a black satin look. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the uh, spring cleaning of this 2018 Nissan Rogue. By the way, I'll include some links in the description down below of the products that were used today, including some alternative choices, so you guys can uh, check them out. Also, if you want to continue to learn more about car detailing, so products, equipment, tips, tricks, and techniques, make sure that you hit the subscribe button that's found under this video, and that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos. Now, if you enjoyed this video, as usual, smash the thumbs up button to show me your support. And also, as usual, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you guys on the next one.